Today we're going to teach you how to overhaul your chief frame machine high pressure hydraulic cylinders or rams. The tools that you're going to need will be a quarter inch allen wrench or T-handle wrench, a small pick or screwdriver, spanner wrench or socket. That will be necessary to remove your lock nut at the top. And of course, this ram has been cleaned and processed so that we can show you how to overhaul this ram statically where it's nice and clean. One of the first things that you're going to do is you'll remove the top flange nut, which we've already done. You'll notice that the threaded adapter does come off. That allows us to use our spanner socket. Our spanner socket will go in. Of course, you could have used your spanner wrench to do the same thing. This is a specially modified wrench that we have. It's made by Facom, F-A-C-O-M. In this case, we're gonna remove our lock, locking ring, threaded lock ring inside here. You'll see that we have a wiper. This wiper is designed only to wipe the dirt off as the cylinders rise in and out. The next thing that you'll notice is down inside here, we have a, an Allen wrench. There is a uh, screw in there. We will get to that in a little bit. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the threaded nut here, the threaded bolt, excuse me. And this bolt is about three and a half, four inches long. So once you have broken the, um, bolt loose with an allen wrench at this point we have specially designed a allen wrench for our thing and we're going to take this nut out and you can see that this is quite a long nut Of course, we could have already had this flange taken off. And inside here, what you'll see is there is a, your, your screw is about three and a half inches long. Inside, you'll see there's a copper washer. What you do is once you get it out, you'll thread it back in, move it back and forth, thread it back in, move it back and forth, and pull your threaded copper pressure compression and copper washer out. Then we will take the ram. We're gonna pull the ram out. And you can see that the ram, we have our retaining ring, our steel U-cup, our seal is here. At this point, we'll use a, uh, I normally use a small screwdriver. I'm going to remove the uh, spiral snap ring. At this point, we'll remove our seal. Here's the old seal. You'll use your uh, carburetor cleaner, brake cleaner, anything you can to wash and clean everything. Making sure always that this cut at the top faces down and that the smooth side is back on this side. Going back with your seal, you'll put your seal on. You'll put your brass retaining ring on and then you'll put your spiral, your spiral spring back on here. Spiral snap spring actually. Now your seal has been replaced. Inside here, you have your, you have your uh, wiper. Your wiper will come off. 
Pay attention to which way the wiper is in. You'll reverse the process by putting your wiper back in here. So now you have replaced your wiper, your seal, and everything. The only thing left to do now is to put the, the cylinder back together. You'll slide this back in. Turn your ramp upside down. Take your new washer. Put it back in. Again, to make this easy because it's quite long, we have designed a At this point, you will um, turn it over. Put your threaded washer back in. And now your ram has been overhauled. You'll notice that we did not replace the uh, washer that was in here if your if your ram is nice and clean and has not been uh, damaged or opened you may or may not need to replace this washer that's inside on this bolt you can simply do that by taking it out also this is your bleeder port so once you put your ram back into the tower you'll raise your tower all the way up until, and you'll build about 3,500, 3, 5,000 pounds pressure. You will bleed, you will have, uh, and then your spanner wrench, I mean your uh, Allen wrench will go back in here. You will bleed, bleed it like your bleeding brakes. Put pressure on it, pop it open. Make sure you have rags around it so it doesn't run, run down your towers. And then, uh, Tighten it back up and, you're re and then reassemble your uh, tower as you go. If you have any questions or anything to, that you would need, these people grade A tools, they're excellent at answering your questions. Uh, they'll FaceTime you, they'll help you with whatever you need. Again, the seal kit for this is the PT-CHK. PT and we will list a uh, We'll have a list of cylinders that this will work on. If you have any questions, don't make a mistake. Call us, contact us. We'll be happy to make sure that you get the right seal and the right repair. We are here to make your job easier. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.